Hi everybody, Nadim here again, online tennis instruction. I have another fun video for you that I like to work on with my students. I recently had a very promising junior from Florida come out and train with me here in California and um, I must say a fantastic athlete and we did this exact exercise and I believe it is a very very good way to train when you're by yourself. Now since I was there I did some hand feeds but I want you to imagine the next exercise with yourself being out on court. I'm talking about self feeds that are dynamic, okay? So when we work on any stroke, I like to work the stationary, the wide and the inside out shot, especially in the forehand. Most players dominate with the forehand and that's what we wanna go towards. So what I like to do is I like to place the, the self feeds into different positions which force me to move around them a little bit, okay? So I'm just gonna have the basket here as a little bit of a border. But I want, to, I want to be able to show you that you can train by yourself if you have nobody around and still be very, very effective in your training, okay? So what I'm going to do now is not just the regular self feeds that you know us doing, okay? When we talk split step, unit turn, down and lift, you know, I have a video like that out. I want, I want to do a video where um, I want to do an exercise where, where you move, okay? So in other words, feed the ball anywhere you want and create the correct space. So it's a dynamic self-feeding exercise. For the forehand, it would look something like this. I feed the ball over to my backhand side and I have to run around it. That would be the idea. So right here, I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna hit the forehand like this, um, which will cause me to have to prepare early and move well. Okay, let's do this one more time. I'm gonna start over, way over to the left, come around, and then I swing and do it one more time. Here we go around the left, got to create that space and then still swing and hit my shot, hopefully stay on balance. And whatever it is that you're working on with your forehand, for example, um, you want to focus, of course, on that. Let's say I'm focusing on making sure that I have a nice uh, slot position on my forehand. So I want to make sure after I've done the stationary ones, can I do it when I move? okay because a lot of times we train stationary and then we have to move and everything breaks down so you want to take the progression within the progression okay which means if you're still doing self feeds do stationary self feeds and then follow it up with this self feed another time here go around down and out okay that was a, I think that was a really nice low slot position one more time down and out and you, how do you judge yourself? You judge yourself to see how you balance at the end. Um, can you create effortless power? What's your flight path of the ball doing? Those are very good things that you, to look for when you're by yourself again and nobody's there to train with you. So give this a shot. Of course you can do this on the back end. Whether you're a two-hander, whether you're a one-hander. I just like the forehand a lot more because I want all my players to play, well not all my players, but a lot of my players to play well into the backhand side with a forehand. So give this a shot. If you're working on your forehand, add this mobility part to it. All the best and see you soon.